first step in the Adjust Color menu is Remove Color Cast. This simply lets you select an area of the image that should be a neutral gray, white, or black. From that, elements will try to balance the colors of the image and remove any color cast. In this image, I've added a blue cast to make this a little more obvious in the video. I'll choose Remove Color Cast and click on an area of this cloud that should be gray. That one click removes the blue cast. This isn't a tool I use very often, but if you have an image with an obvious color cast, this can fix it quickly. The next command is one that I use very often in Elements, and that is Hue Saturation. I've already used it a couple times in the course to demonstrate other functions. In the Hue Saturation Adjustment window, we have a menu at the top that includes Master, which means all colors are the full image. And then there's individual colors under that. I'm going to keep it set on Master right now. When I move the Hue slider, the colors for the entire image shift. This is essentially like turning the color wheel. Reds shift to blues or greens depending on where I move the slider. Move it all the way to either end and the colors are pretty much reversed. Saturation increases or decreases the amount of color in each pixel. I can knock the image all the way down to black and white or boost all the colors. The lightness slider is the same as moving the gray slider in levels. It will adjust the overall lightness of the image. The Colorize checkbox makes the image monotone. I can then set what color and how saturated that color is with the sliders. So this is a highly saturated blue monochrome version of this image. Now let's try editing only a certain range of colors within the image. So I'm going to go to the color menu and select the reds. When I do that and adjust the saturation slider, you can see that only the reds in the image change. Move the hue slider and only the reds in the image will change their hue. At the bottom of the window, I can adjust the sliders in this color band to set a custom selection of color that will be affected. So I might extend this to include more yellows and oranges so I can adjust the colors of the sunset better. The inner sliders here affect the actual range of colors, so those are what I'm going to focus on. The end sliders control how much falloff or gradient there will be from that range of colors. These just prevent a drastic change of color in the image with no fade in between. With this selection, I'm adjusting just about the entire range of colors in the sunset. Oranges, yellows, and reds. Switch to blues in the color menu, and the bottom slider adjusts to select only a range of blues. Experimenting with different color ranges is a good idea to see what sort of different improvements or interesting effects you can apply to your images.